Hello everyone, this is Animation4, and welcome to my Speed Spotlight on Applied Analytics 2, the mechanical storage mod for Minecraft version 2. I have this set out as a four-part Speed Spotlight, um, where it's all laid out. Here we got part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4, part 3 is obviously going to be channels. So we got part 1 coming up first, it's going to talk about um, getting started with the mod, and things that are pretty, pretty much the same from what it was before. So it's going to assume that you have some basic Applied Energistics knowledge. Nothing too complicated though. So let's get started with Applied Energistics 2. So first we have World Gen. You have the basic Certus Quartz Orb from before. It drops Certus Quartz Crystals and Certus Quartz Dust at a varying rate and you can't fortune it. Even rarer than that, you have Charged Certus Quartz Orb, which drops these Charged Certus Quartz Crystals. You need to get these to start the mod, but then you can make them once you get a few. And there's also naturally spawning meteors, which are on the surface or underneath, and they have Skystone Chests, which have these silicon presses inside, or these presses inside. You can get a meteor locator using a charged crystal. This will point you in the direction of the nearest meteor, of course, if you're not in a super flat. Um, you take one of the charged crystals, a nether quartz, and a redstone, put drop them in water, and then you get two fluix crystals. You can grind these down in a quartz grindstone or using a pulverizer, you get fluix dust. Take two of the crystals and some iron, you get a charge, you can actually make the charged crystals out of regular ones. Um, to do that, you're going to need some quartz glass, which is made like this, put this around a fluid crystal, and you get an energy acceptor, which converts any energy to applied energistics, AE energy, uh, 2 RF equals 1 AE, put furnace and iron around that, and you get a vibration chamber, and that basically generates AE using just coal, uh, you have to put it in the top of a chart, of a charger, so yeah, just drop in the certus quartz, eventually it'll just go pop, and it'll change it to charge certus quartz. Next you have two sticky pistons and, and a fluid crystal, you get an inscriber, very important item to the mod. Uh, has these kind of recipes where you have silicon, silicon press, you get a silicon, print, printed silicon, then you get pure sort of, pure, pure quartz crystal, and you can get that, um, all these little uh, circuits. Then you get redstone, the silicon one, whichever one you want, and you get the actual circuit that you need for it, the processor, sorry. So you can see, um, if I were to take uh, this, that, that, and then print it, push it together. So the progress bar, you see the animation, and you get the circuit that you want. So next up, you have uh, quartz fiber, which is made like this. You get three of them. Use later, but mainly you're gonna use for crafting. You take two fluid crystals, you get the basic ME cable. Now you take a certus crystal, uh, quart, uh, flux dust, and fluid dust, and a gold processor. You get a annihilation core. Do the same thing with another quartz, and you get a formation core. And Glowstone, redstone, glowstone, quartz, glass, and iron. You get three illuminated panels, which are mainly used for crafting. So you can take one of them in a gold processor and one at each of the cores, and you get your ME terminal. You can put that around with some uh, ME cable and a fluid crystal, and you get ME chest, which is basically a self contained ME system you can see down here. If you right click the bottom, you can access where the storage cell goes. If I click the top, you get the terminal for that storage cell. Then, if you take two of the diamond processors and two cables, you get the ME drive, and then you can basically set up your ME system. You need AE power going in, I have it through a vibration chamber, but your drives in here, you have a cable, and then you just have a terminal that you access everything in the drives. That's your basic ME system. Note, you do not need a controller. You take the terminal, a uh, quartz processor, and a crafting table, you get a crafting terminal, which has a little crafting interface. A formation core and a piston get you an export bus. A annihilation core and a sticky piston get you an import bus. Notice how they look different. Um, from what they used to. One of each of the cores, glass and iron, gets you an interface which can be swapped back and forth for a flat one. Take either one of them and each of the pistons and you get a storage bus. And this is how you can start your ME system. So you have drives here that have some storage cells. The front is kind of bugged right now. Then you can get terminal on and then you can see I have a storage bus here that accesses the deep storage unit, maybe an import bus in this chest. And main idea behind the mod, everything is flat so you can have multiple things connected to each cable so you have a bunch right here. So that's kind of what's different between the mod now. Um, lastly, you have the cell workbench, which is basically the pre-coder from the last version. You get a quartz one, some wool, and you get that. It's so basically a pre-coder. And you have the energy cell, which basically stores energy, and it's just made like this. So now we can look at how you find a meteor. You can see I have the meteor compass here. It's pointing me this way. If I just follow it for a little bit, eventually it'll start spinning really fast. And it'll spin really fast when there is sky stone blocks within the chunk. That is what defines it as spinning. So if you press F9, you can see the chunk boundaries. You can see the chunk I'm in. So this chunk has sky stone. There's a meteor somewhere in this chunk. If I come over here, you'll see there's also a meteor in this chunk. And there's also one in this chunk, and there's also one in this chunk. That means it's t it, there's one meteor taking up these four chunks. And they are 15 by 15, so they are pretty darn big. So if you have a case where it's, a, where it's in a four ch by four chunks, there's a pretty likely chance that you can probably find it. Well, there's a guaranteed chance you can find it in the middle. You can see here's the sky stone, 
and the chest is right around here somewhere. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Oh, I broke it. See, I got the press. And if it was in one, if it was one chunk, it's 15 by 15, so digging right down in the middle of the chunk, so like right here, would bring you to that. And that's how the meteorite compass works. Pretty simple. Okay, so the final time of the spotlight was 4.41.38, which is very good in my opinion. I covered everything this section. Hopefully I answered any questions you may have. If not, you can ask them below, and I'll be really good at getting back on them. Next time we cover, next episode, we'll be covering automated crafting, different kinds of terminals, formation, and annihilation planes, uh, some of these toggle buses, some cards, and uh, growing crystals. After that, it'll be channels. After that, it will be miscellaneous items. So if you learned anything, uh, it really helps out if you hit the like button. It helps out even more if you hit the subscribe button because then you'll know when the next video comes out. So thanks so much for watching and bye-bye.